What's up guys and welcome back. So didn't get two episodes. I was trying to get two out today or the past two days, but I, I literally have one day left at college, so I was like wah, 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 like super busy. So um tomorrow's my last day, so yeah, what can you do? So I said I get one out now. It's gonna be a pretty short, it should be short enough, um, because I still have a bit of work to do, so I'm gonna try to get this out as fast as I can. As you can see, I got the shaders working again. For some reason I'm getting some uh, pretty bad performance. And I have a 680, I know I have a nice i5, but it's a 24K or whatever, blah, 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 and like 16 gigs of RAM. And I'm getting some like really weird performance. The older versions, I used to get like 100 frames, and this one, now I'm getting like 40 to 50. And I know I know a lot of people are like, 40 to 50, really? But like I have a 680, and I have it down to like fast now. Well, I am recording now, but I don't know. There's, I've just had some really, it's like really jerky and jittery, which is annoying. But anyway back to what we're talking about um so i'm just gonna fly around here we're not gonna be building anything today it's just gonna be talking um about the idea of where you want where we're gonna build and such um and how we're gonna go about doing that now um was talk what was going on pink i was t uh, mikey sent me a message and he came up with like a really brilliant idea um so i want to hear what you guys think about this um let me just change it to today because I don't like it being at night. There we go. Um, he was thinking of doing a sort of uh, another land connected to this one. Now, um, the the map is more rectangular than anything, th anything else, so I don't know if it's actually going to work that way. Oh, this world's oh, it's supposed to go this way. Um, I don't know if it's going to work, um, but I'm thinking of ideas on how to make it work. I'll show you in a sec now. He sent me a picture as well. Um, so basically, he came up with the idea as, of course, there's rain as well. He came up with the idea of... Having um, the snow up top, Joe, to be honest, I just, just show it to you, it's easier. That's the idea he sort of came up with. Um, the land is exactly the same here, and it stretches up, and you can pass this area. The only way to get through this area is through the wall here. And of course, if anyone has watched Game of Thrones, that's where we got the idea from. Um, we were gonna be, we were gonna do something like make a big ice wall as well, and the only way you could get up to this land is through the ice wall, and then you be, you're able to build up there. Now, um, there's many ways I was thinking we could do that, but of course I'm no expert in plugins, so you let me know. Um, we're gonna try to have a, a wall going across here. Um, so what we might do is we would have like um, maybe a world a world guard stretching across this whole land, saying. You can only build, build it, build, building is only allowed in this huge area, and then down here, building isn't allowed. Um, but then again, like, uh, then we come across the problems of, um, what happens if someone gets stuck in a, a thing and they can't dig their way out? Um, you know, and then, then do we give them the use to be able to plant blocks? Then if we do, would that ruin the map? um people can just destroy the roads we built and all that sort of stuff so this that's where i'm kind of like it's a great idea the only thing that's the thing i'm kind of worried about is people getting caught in places and then constantly having to go like oh i'm stuck again oh i'm stuck again oh i'm stuck again you know maybe there's a mod to get around that i don't know but as you can see he froze the rest of these up here and then he made the snow part and that's where they, they it, it kind of just about starts and then um it goes, uh, then the land goes up here, and then this was just an example of what the land could look like. But you know, it, it'll probably be like ridiculously big as well. It'll be like, uh, it'll be, it'll be, of course, it'll be all custom made as well. So you will still have really cool landscapes to build on, but it'll be more of like, um, cool landscapes for you guys to build on instead of this sort of thing. So if that's the case, then, um, all these islands, um, will probably have like something on them. See, um, this is, uh, that's, this is just where I'm stuck right now. What, do you think we should do the um i kind of also would it be able to create um, i know to, i know you're able to create a map in minecraft that's um not perfectly square you can make circular ones or whatever but i'm just wondering how world guard will work then or um not world guard border guard will work then um or is it a case of if we could we make a gigantic world edit a world guard um a selection from here to here and then make it so people can't walk outside it 
um, or maybe make a slight rectangular box that goes all the way down here, all the way down here, all the way up here, and make this the rectangular box. You can't go near it or something. You'll just bounce off it, because I know you can do that. Um, because uh, I think Miss Bad and her other uh, in one of her cities, she 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 dragged a selection around her city and made it so that only um, admins could walk in. And if anyone else walked in, it, it would like a message would pop up said, "Oh, the winds are too, um, winds are too strong, and you weren't able to go into the land. It was a desert, you know. It was a really cool idea. So maybe that could work. But then again, that's the only thing I'm worried about. Like people really want to build in some epic landscapes and lo- and look, this idea you get to. Because I really don't mind what this land up here look like. It can look... It'll, it'll still look pretty cool, like... Because the landscapes will be... It'll be about the same size as this one, maybe. Actually, maybe a bit smaller. I don't know. If this is 4,000 by 4,000, or is it 5,000 by 5,000? Maybe that could be another 4,000 by 4,000, you know? It could be the same size. I just don't particularly want to do um, a multiverse setup where it's another world. Um, one, because that requires the, that plugin and we're gonna have that plugin anyway but i don't want to rely i want to rely as little as plugins as possible but i know that's how that i have to be realistic too because i want this to be really custom as well but i don't want it to be too custom so that it's hard to update so it's you know i just that that's going too far into the future again but this we can need to talk about this now um so <clears throat> that's kind of the idea of like all the buildings will go down here and this will be every single biome um really crazy landscapes nothing like the um normal minecraft um generation it would look really cool and it'd be a really class place to build so the in in all in all what you do is you'll be able to set your homes up here or wherever you want really um maybe we'll see how that goes um and then you're able to you know maybe we can set up some sort of you know thing like in world of warcraft you know, a hearthstone system where you can always teleport back to your main city um but that will only work for your main city sort of thing. Uh, or maybe... Well, that's kind of... Well, to be honest, that's exactly the same thing as typing in Forge last spawn. To just put a cooldown on that. And that will always bring you back to your main city, you know? And then maybe we could um, set up homes where you can only make homes above this region. And then you can create your home wherever you want. And then you can go adventure. You, you have to go through the wall. You have to adventure. See, then that that's another issue. Then, like, um, people... It'll take a long time for people to get up here. And um, maybe maybe we'll make it so that the first time you have to do it. You spawn in your place and you have to take this big adventure to get up through the wall and into this land. Then after that, you can set your home up here and then you can teleport back and forth. And if you want to go back to the wall again, you can have a look at it or whatever else is built there. But for the first time, you have to you know make that pilgrimage in order to get through the wall to be able to build your thing up here. Mikey was also saying ideas that like... Um, this could be a very this could be a very cool place to put some end game quests. Um, there could be um, different kind of monsters and stuff like that up here. Uh, most likely, um, we w- we would probably build something up here as well. Don't know what we could build yet. Really focusing on this first. Um, but this was a really really clever idea, I think. But then again, we just have to try to make this work on one map. I really want to try to make it work on the one big map. So when you look at it, it's not going to be square. It's going to be more of a rectangle. So I just want to know. Will that work? Will you do you guys know if that will work? Because I, I really just want to know. Um I in my head I don't see why it couldn't. The only thing again, um just to let just so you guys uh any of you guys that really have experience in this, is there a way so we can make it so people can't pass through here? Um and they, the only way they can go through is like if we have let's say the wall here even. Um let's say you know the red line is here, but the wall is like going stretching across this red line on the land and maybe even across the water, I don't know. Um and uh they can only get through through this like center point that we have like a little gateway or something like that. And he also sent me pictures of you know people that built the wall from um, Game of Thrones in Minecraft. And I have to say that wall looks class. I, I, I didn't think, I thought it would be really hard to make a gigantic ice wall look good. But it looking at that now I can totally see how it works. And I can I think it would look really freaking cool that you're coming up to this gigantic wall and, you know, we would have a big fortress against the wall. Maybe that's another place, you know. He was thinking, you know, all criminals could be sent there and people with higher statuses um, in the below world. Because, you know, you this this if this goes ahead, this will most likely be called um, the below world. And this would probably be called above world, you know. People are going to probably name them like that, you know, instead. Um, but 
that would be a really cool idea, you know. And maybe you can um, and this this maybe could be like a, a, a hub or something like that for quests in um this area. So if you want to get quests in this area, you need to go back to the wall in order to get orders or something. And it could be to kill certain bandits and all this sort of crap, like all these bandit camps and all this sort of like rebel leader fuck shit. All this, you know, all these like random people up here. I mean, that's a really cool idea. And then, of course, he, there's another one. This is just a render, which just looks fucking beautiful. Like, it looks really nice. Um, but that was the idea that um, we're throwing out there. Tell me what you guys... Th tell me what you think. Um, most likely, in the next episode, I'm going to be finishing off the trees. And then the next one, will probably be refining. Or maybe we'll be able to refine and do them in the next one. But we'll have to wait and see. But just give me your all your feedback on this, because this is really important. Um, again... Uh, the, the kind of questions I'm asking everyone it could what's the best way in order to make the world look like this is it really re realistic to make a rectangular map instead of a, sp a box map um, how would we get how would we protect the land outside it as in how do we stop people from straying outside these borders because I only know border guard does boxes they don't do rectangles and they also do circles but um, I don't think you'll be able to do a border guard all the way up here. Maybe if we did a border guard here for this section and then go up here and set another border guard maybe up there. I, if that works, I don't know. I thought you could only set one border guard per map. I, I don't know. Yeah, that's why I need to ask you guys. And then maybe you see that then if that isn't accurate enough, people could just like slot out the side or something. Um, so again, um, what's the other thing? Oh, world edit um, or world guard would, would it be... Would world guard work if we did a big world guard thing around this and saying you could people can only stay within here and can't go straight outside it? Um, what else? And yeah, that's pretty much it. What do you think about the idea of that? Uh, you get loads of you do your quests here. You get your rarest materials from here. You know your diamonds and all that sort of stuff um, from questing and maybe from selling buying from merchants. And then up here is free game. It's kind of like you can build whatever you want. We most likely will get rid of diamond if that's the case. Then and the only way you can get diamond is by trading. And maybe it's a really rare resource. And only certain merchants. Um, maybe there'll be there'll be hidden merchants throughout the land that are selling them on a black black market, and obviously they're going to be like things like they're really really limited, where you can only get like a few of them, and then after that they might respawn after a week or something like that. It's going to be pretty hard to get diamonds. I really want everyone to be running on iron stuff, and if you see someone with uh, go diamond stuff, you're going to be like, damn girl, you is you. You is good, you know. You, I really wanted to make it like that. I think that's way, way, way better if everyone's running around to that and you make diamond ultra rare because people join a map, they have diamond too fast. It's just, and it just, it totally eliminates that because when you, I really want people to treasure their equipment, not to be like, have like 20 sets. Obviously, they're going to have like a million sets of iron, but for diamond, they will make, they that will be so rare to people. And I think that's way more, um, better to the longevity of a server and overall because like once people get it then they'll be like they'll just want to show off or it just you know that that sort of thing i think and the second i say someone gets like an unbreakable pick they're just going to be like fucky yeah you know it's going to be pretty cool um so that's that's our idea um so world guard don't know if that's going to work you guys have to tell me that because I, as again i don't know much about it um, will this idea work where do you think the idea will work where lots of questing lots of questing and adventuring will be done down here you could you could adventure through this map for hours and you'll probably still find like new dungeons and new tribes and new shit like that and we'll most likely be adding stuff constantly at a constant basis so and we'll be updating the server and uh, hopefully in a constant basis so when you come here then you'll be like uh, it won't be a case where you go here once and never come back here again we need to make it so that you come back here on a regular basis and of course you'll most likely come back here if you want a PvP in order to do the end game stuff some people are saying as well to do like a nether fortress and all this sort of crap um, if you the, originally we're going to be doing two, we're doing a heaven realm where you start off in, and we're doing a hell realm, and we're also doing an in between realm, which is going to be um, a tutorial world. That's where multiverse will come in handy. But um, we just have to keep in limitation here. We don't want to get too out of control with the size of the world and stuff. Um, this already is going to be really big if we do this, but I think um, um, we should be okay. We really should. So that's pretty much um, all the ideas that I have for you today. 
Um, make sure you smash the shit out of that like button if you really like this idea and if you think this is so cool. A lot of people are saying to me like, why don't you do this and this and this and this? And I'm like, D you're just, like, I, I might as well just make a, my own game. <laughs> but like, it, Minecraft has its limitations and mods have their limitations. But of course, if someone comes along to me and is like, actually, those limitations aren't that... You know, like, I'm a coder and I'm just super cool all this sort of stuff and there's no limits for me, you know. Then we'll have to wait and see. But that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you leave a comment below if you got a cool idea and if you want to suggest stuff. To, um, or if you just want to comment on how cool or crap this idea is. Um, again, thanks to Mikey for coming up with it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.